Hey guys, it's me Erica. Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I am doing a full face using Sansan review. So I will do my full face using Sansan products tapos ire-review din natin siya. Meaning, magsha-check in ako at the end of the day to see how the product wore, if it worked really well, if maganda pa siya for oily skin, if it is worth it. Kasi yung Sansan guys, ito yung parang drugstore talaga ng Pilipinas. This is locally available and alam ko it's also a Filipino brand. And sobrang mura ng mga products guys, hindi sila sobrang mahal. And super affordable lang talaga. And you can buy them at any HBC outlets throughout the nation. So, let's get started. So, yung unang-una kong kinuha is this. This is the Sansan CC Cream. So, nakalagay dyan lahat ng detalye. So, hindi mo na... Ang dami kasi ng foundation, guys. Meron sila ng serum foundation. Yung HD foundation. Meron din sila nung... Yung matte foundation na nireview ko, I will link that down below if hindi nyo pa napanood yun. And meron silang BB cream, CC cream, and yung WW cream. So, I decided to get the CC cream para perfect from pang everyday. If you want me to test out other Sansan base products, yung mga powders, yung mga... Kasi may two-way cake silang powder. Tapos... Meron pa ako mga hindi na try na base products like yung, yung HD foundation, yung serum foundation, yung BB cream at saka yung WW cream. If you would like me to do a review on that, just comment it down below. So, ito yung packaging niya guys. As you can see, travel friendly, may pump sa ilalim, tapos magdi-disperse lang ako ng product. So, one shade lang to. Tapos, parang grayish yung shade niya. Pinkish na grayish. We'll see how that works. Ito yung face ko ngayon. Maraming imperfections. Nag-breakout ako recently. Nakaka-stress mag-breakout. So, ayan. Nag-breakout ako recently. And, ayan siya. I'm going to use a stippling brush to apply this. This has a very thick consistency. Hindi siya nagbumove. May amoy siya. May scent siya. By the way, yung primer na ginamit ko underneath is a sunscreen and makeup base in one. Yun yung Gawori base ko, which I use a lot. Kasi everyday nga, so hindi na ako nagbongga ang primer. Magtotone daw naman yung color, pero as you guys can see, hindi siya nagbibigay ng bonggang coverage. Well, hindi din naman ako umasa na magbibigay siya ng coverage kasi nga CC cream lang siya. By the way, I will just put the prices sa description box at saka sa screen. Medyo mahirap mag-disperse ng product sa pump niya, guys. Kasi ayaw na. Ayun. May lumalabas, tas konti-konti lang. Oh. Medyo nakakainis mag-disperse yung pump niya, pero ito yung magagawa. For this, brush na lang yung ginamit ko kasi kapag sponge, alam mo yung wala na siyang coverage, mas mawawalan pa siya ng coverage. And itong stippling brush, hindi siya masyadong nag-absorb ng product. Interested ba kayong maakita ng ano, brush, brush collection, ganun? Like, magiging in-depth sa brushes. Ganun yung, okay, yung mga favorite brushes ko. Favorite affordable brushes. Naisip kong gawin yun eh. So, comment below if bet nyo yung ganong video. Can you freaking see that? Yung pagdi-disperse natin ng product. Ang tagal. Ayan, ito na siya sa buong face ko guys. And as you guys can see, it gives like sheer to light coverage. Hindi siya abot ng medium kahit na nung gawin natin na kailang pumps na ako. Hanggang dyan na lang siya. So, 
Ayan, kita pa rin yung blemishes ko, pero it evened out my skin tone, so that's good. We'll see how it wears throughout the day, and it gives a bit of a shine sa face. So, medyo may dewy feeling siya. Ang ingay na naman. It brightened up my skin. Na even out niya yung skin tone ko. It has little... Oh my gosh, ang ingay. It has sheer to light coverage. And yeah. Ito yung ayoko kung bakit pag nag-film ako na umaga kasi naririnig nyo ba yan? Ito yung next na gagamitin natin. Ito yung concealer nila. So this is in the shade natural. This is their HD concealer. By the way guys, lahat ng products nila may SPF 15. Ito siya, yung applicator niya, ganyan. So, tutuwis mo para lumabas yung product. And, yeah. Ilalagay ko lang siya sa under eye ko. I-blend ang stippling brush siya. Blending this out using a stippling brush, which um not my favorite, so sponge na lang. So ayan ang coverage. Maganda yung coverage nito guys. It's one of the products from Sansan that I truly love. Um naubusan na ako ng ganito noon and nakalimutan ko mag-repurchase and ngayong ginagamit ko siya ulit, nakikita ko na kung bakit ko siya madalas gamitin noon. It's one of the very first concealers na meron ako. I'm going to set my face with this Sansan Press Powder. Ang gaganda ng, ang ganda na packaging nila ng ganito. Ito yung favorite packaging. Ito yung favorite kong packaging nila. This like aqua blue color. It's beautiful. I love it. So this is what it looks like. Mix, may sponge siya, may powder ka, and then may mirror ka. And ang gagawin ko is, is set ko lang yung whole face ko gamit to. So gagamitin ko na lang muna is yung sponge. Wow, may coverage to guys ha. Nice. Parang nice yung powder. Although parang ayokong iset yung under eye ko gamit yung powder kasi saktong sakto siya sa skin tone ko. Pero ayun guys, so tagay mo yung side na to na mattify niya. Ayoko talaga siya pang set ng under eye area kasi yung saktong sakto siya sa skin tone ko. Baka mag darken lang yung under eye area ko. So, ang gagawin ko is I'll just set my under eye area with a translucent powder. So, ayan. Ito na siya, guys. Ang ganda ng ano ng powder na to. Very, very nice yung powder, guys. So far, I love the powder. Yung CC cream, okay lang. Hindi ako in love dun sa CC cream. Yung powder, it's really, really nice. Yung concealer, really, really nice as well. So now, let's move on with our brows. Ang gagamitin ko sa kilay ko, ito. Ito yung uh, eyebrow pencil nila. This is in the shade light brown. And as you guys can see, may sharpener na siya. So, ito siya. Pencil type siya. So, wala siyang spoolie on the other side. So, meron akong spoolie na on hand para gamitin. So, first, ibabrush ko lang yung brows ko. Wow, ginagawa ko yung kilay ko on camera. Nakakapanimago. Yung light brown nila guys, hindi siya light na light. Super ma-red. Ma-red siya guys. Ma-red na ma-red yung pang kilay. Madaling mag-glide yung pangkilay, pero ang problema ko is yung shade. Okay lang sana to if alam nyo yun, yung may kulay yung hair ko na red. Kung medyo warm red yung buhok ko, alam nyo yun yung brown na ma-red. Pero hindi. Nakikita nyo ba kung gaano ka-red yung kilay ko? 
sobrang red ng kilay ko. Hindi ko alam kung ano i-express ko, pero maganda yung pangkilay, guys. I mean, maganda yung formula ng pangkilay kasi hindi ako nahihirapang mag mag-glide yung pencil. Kusa siyang nag-glide. Ang problema ko yung kulay. Pangkilay is a hard pass for me. Maganda yung formulation, but the shade. Sansan yung shade nyo. Bakit ganyan? I'm going to use the eyebrow mascara. This is in the shade brown. Hopefully, hopefully, ma-counteract niya yung problema ko. Hopefully, makatulong siyang mag-lessen nung pagka-red. Yung light brown ng pencil, hindi siya pareho dun sa light brown ng eyebrow mascara. So, siguro yung mascara, itatry ko gamit yung lighter pencils ko. Kasi kapag dito, iba yung tone niya eh. Iba yung tone ng light brown niya dun sa light brown na, light brown na pencil nila. Yung light brown na pencil nila, sobrang red. Na hindi na acceptable yung pagka-red. So, yeah. Ito yung eyeshadow palette nila. Wala tong box. Ganyan lang siya talaga. So, ayan. Kinuha ko yung tatlong variants to. So, meron sila ng fun, meron sila ng intense, and then ito yung kinuha ko, yung glow. So, meron siyang brush na itatapon ko lang. Kasi hindi ko naman ginagamit yun. Dudut ko lang yung daliri ko dyan. So, ayun, nahulog na sa baba yung brush. Pero meron yung sponge applicator. Tapos yung other end brush na hindi ko naman ginagamit. And then, meron tayong mirror dito. And then, ito yung shades niya. I'm going to take this brush right here. And then, I will dip it in into this shade. Yung second shade na pang transition talaga. hinahanap po yung pigment. Pero, bigyan ko siya ng chance kasi transition shade lang naman yun. Hindi naman kailangan na super pigmented nung transition shade. Nakikita niyo ba kung gaano kapangit yung kilay ko? Nakakainis, honestly. So, ang issue ko dito is that kukuha ako ng product dito but then sumasama to or I'm going to use a smaller fluffy brush and dip into the next shade, this shade right here we'll try we'll try and see sobrang powdery oh So, ayan, may pigment na naman ako nakikita. Ayos naman yung pigment niya. Ang problema ko lang talaga, super powdery siya. Pero may pigment. At least may pigment. Ang problema ko is powdery siya. So, ingat-ingat. Make sure na itop off nyo yung excess. Ganun. Kasi, pag hindi nyo tinop off, baka magka-fallout kayo. Konti-konti lang yung kinukuha ko kasi... Ayokong putok pigment sa mata ko kasi super powdery. Kapag madaming kinuha ko, baka mag fall out lang. So, konti-konti lang natin. So, you have 10 shades here, guys. Apat na mats, anim na shimmer. I just wish na mas marami yung mats si shimmer or equally, you know, divided sila. Next then, I'm going to go back again with the first brush and blend. Bigyan na lang tayo. Blend, blend, blend. Maybe I'll use this shade first. I'm just going to use my fingers. Next, I'll use the shade and put that on top of the shimmer shade we already have.
Okay, so that shade, this shade right here, is intense. It is intense, you guys. Just using the smudger brush, and I will go to the transition shade na ginamit ko, and just put that on my lower lash line. You guys can see that. Okay naman yung shadows. Stop that right there. Okay. Itong technique na to, nakuha kay Jaclyn Hill. She does this all the time. So, I'm going to do it as well para mas lang maklean up yung edges. Next product is this. This is the Thick Lash Mascara by Sansan, of course. It's in the shade black. So, may dalawang shades. It's brown and black. So, I do need to curl my lashes because I recently tried um, eyelash firming. As you guys can see, mukha na siyang curled. This is what it looks like. Super ganda ng packaging, you guys. I really love the color. I love how reflective it is. Maingay na naman. Okay, so on the bottom, ayun yung color. And then, ayan. Sinasabi niya lang, it's thick lash. This is the wand. Ayan, ang wand niya. And by the way, it claims to be waterproof. issue ko lang, medyo matagal siya mag-set. Maybe because it's brand new, it's kinda wet pa. Yung formula niya, wet pa. So, medyo delikado. So, huwag mo nang pipikit agad kapag gamit to. Okay, so as you guys can see, that just did that to my lashes. It is extreme. It is crazy. So, I'm just going to put lower lash mascara off camera kasi nahirapan ako maglagay ng lower lash mascara on camera and I will be right back. Now, I'm going to dust that off. I'm going to dust this off. Wala silang bronzer, guys. Wala yung, alam ko si Ann Klutz, gusto, gusto niya dati yung deep earth ba yun? Or, yun, basta yung may earth siya na. Wala silang single shadows doon. So, ang gagawin ko na lang is I will use this uh, one right here. So, may dalawa akong shade ng blushers. I have pink and peach. So, hindi ko alam kung anong pinagkaiba nila. Ilalagay ko na lang sa baba if same yung prices nila. But, yung isa ay Defense. Yung isa parang regular na blusher lang. Ito si Pink. And then, ito si Peach. So, ayan. Ito yung Pink. Tapos, ito si Peach. Hindi ko alam kung anong blush yung gagamitin ko ngayon. Okay, let's try this pink one kasi hindi naman siya sobrang ma-pink it's like that pink that has warmth it's powdery as well super powdery ng products I'm going to use this shade right here as my face highlighter I went ham on the highlighter, so what I'll do is take a sponge and Nakahanap tayo ng highlight sa Sun Sun I'm going to 
take the same shade that I use for highlight and put that on my inner corners. I'm going to take this very first shade right here and apply that onto my brow bone area. This is like one of my favorite products again. These are gorgeous. So these are the Sans and Lip Crayons. So on top is Lucius Choco and below is Rich Mocha. So nalaman ko to kay Julia Barreto. She loves Rich Rich Mocha. It's like a pinkier nude. But my personal favorite is this. This is Lucious Choco. I tried this yesterday kasi sabi ko gusto kong itry yung formula kapag kumain. Ganun para at least may impression na ako. And guys, these are super pigmented. They are easy to glide on. Super creamy. Hindi nila din nag-dry yung lips ko whatsoever. It's a really, really nice product. Singin ko ang babagay sa look ko ngayon ay si Lucious Choco. I'm going to use that. Ooh, the pigment. Yes. So, yan. Ayan, Lucious Choco. It's my favorite. And ito na, guys. Ito na ang aking full face using Sansan -San Cosmetics. And, okay. Quick recap. The CC Cream is an okay product. Hindi ako mind blown. Hindi ako go go grab it. The press powder though is really really nice. Mm -mm, thumbs up dun muna. But we'll see how this all wears throughout the day. Saka ako magbibigay ng verdict. Pero as first impressions ka-apply, it's really nice. The blush is nice as well. They are pigmented although they are powdery but the pigment and the blendability is nice. The punky lie Hindi na ako magsasabing end of the day. I really hate it. Can you see how red my brows are? Although na tame down na manyata siya ng brow mascara. Yung brow mascara, siguro masasabi ko siya at the end of the day, it's longevity. Pero right with regards to color and all of that, ita try ko pa siya with other brow products. And then my eyeshadow, the eyeshadow is I'm like 50/50 about it. It's um, this is nice and affordable, although these four mattes right here are super powdery. Powder was flying everywhere, nauhulog siya kanina dito, na top off na lang. And then the shimmers are quite nice, but um, it's nice. Yung issue ko nga, it's so powdery, so you have to be careful. You have to be extra careful about it. Um, you can use your fingers for more pigmentation if you want to. And the mascara, so far, I love it. My lashes are really long. And they look thicker. They look fuller. Which is nice. Which This would be good for like an everyday type of mascara. Pero if you want the mascara that is va va my, my favorite is still the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. For the lipstick, kahit hindi end of the day, sasabihin ko to, I love it. It's not the lipstick that is long wearing. If alam niyo yun, kasi hindi naman siya liquid lipstick. But it's a nice lipstick. I don't know what I'm going to say. And it was about 9:30 in the morning. And now it's 10, 10 p.m. Na. This whole makeup has been on my face for the entire day. And I'm going to say, as you guys can see, I am. <laughs> Wala nang coverage. Wala na talaga. Kitang kita nyo na lahat kahit yung powder hulas na. Ito na bura na talaga dito. Yung concealer, ayan. Yung concealer guys, matibay. Yung lipstick, wala na. Tapos nagpalit din ako ng lipstick ng araw na to. Kasi hindi ako makontente sa isang lipstick. Yung mascara guys. Ay, bongga. Tignan nyo. Ganyan pa din yung lashes ko. Hindi siya nag smudge. Super ganda ng mascara. Yung eyeshadow. Ayan. Intense pa kung intense. Smoky eye na smoky eye akong pumasok. etong kilay ko. Yung kilay. Ha. Hindi na mauulit yung kilay na yan. Tignan nyo. Ilalapit ko pa ha. 
Sobrang red. Yung CC cream nagtagal siya ng 6 hours bago ko kinailangan mag-blot talaga. Yung concealer, ayan. So, bali dun sa CC cream pala, um, it's a good product. Hindi siya magbibigay ng coverage kasi CC cream lang siya. Pero may even out nga yung skin tone mo. So, if hanap mo lang, may even out nga skin tone mo, gusto mo lang, ano, ang tawag dito, gusto mo lang fresh-fresh lang, gusto mo lang, uh, meron lang something sa face mo, you can definitely buy that. Sa price niya, maganda na siya. Oh, yung concealer, maganda siya, guys. Pack, ayan pa din siya. So, yung nakikita nyo marks dyan, yung dent nung salamin ko, yung glass nung salamin ko. Kasi, ganyan kakapal yung salamin ko. So, nagre-rest talaga. Rest. So, ganyan kakapal yung salamin ko, ay eh, nagre-rest talaga siya sa cheeks ko. So, hindi ko may iwasan yung ditong part, yung mga dents na yan. Pero, as you guys can see, ayan pa yung concealer. Buhay na buhay pa. Maganda siya. I love the concealer. Definitely, i -re recommend ko siya. The powder is nice as well. Maganda din siyang pang-retouch. Yun yung ginamit kong pang-retouch throughout the day. It's really, really nice. May coverage siyang nabibigay. May SPF siya. And mura siya. And maganda yung lilagyan niya. And thumbs up naman. So, yung naghahanap kayo ng powder na affordable, maganda yung sansan. Yung pangkilay, pass. Yung brow pencil, pas ako. Pero yung mascara, parang maganda kasi hindi masyadong nagagalaw yung kilay ko. I mean, hindi siya kahit na pinapat ko. Kasi medyo oil up na. Kahit pinapat ko siya nung uh, tissue paper, hindi siya ma hindi sumasama yung kulay ng pangkilay. So, feel ko yung brow mascara yun. Pero ito try ko pa yon with other brow products. Yung eyeshadow... For the price, okay siya. It actually reminds me, kaninang tinitignan ko yung eye look ko, it actually reminds me of the Naked Palette. The original Naked Palette. Actually, wait lang. Kukunin ko yung original kong Naked Palette. Babalik ako. So, eto guys. So, eto yung Sansan na palette. And eto yung Naked Palette ko. And, <clears throat> May mga shades dito guys na super similar. I did swatches. So, itong taas na matte shade, siya yung transition shade dito. And it's quite similar dito, only that this is matte. And then we have the shade Sin. This one, I compared it to this shade. And ito sila. Yan. Yang nasa pangalawa and pangatlo. The next shades are this one, si Sidecar, versus this one. And honestly, they are quite similar. Only that si Sidecar medyo mas peachier. And then the next shimmer shades, I compared Toasted with this shade right here. And that is what it looks like. Ayan. And then, ito, medyo fail kasi hindi naman sila similar. Si Hustle at saka ito, they are not similar in any terms. And then, ito lang yung, oops, <laughs> may paa speaking. But, ito yung apat na mats or rather, dalawang mats sa palette. So, itong una, Buck from Naked. Itong pangalawa is this shade right here. Yung pangatlo is called Naked from the Naked Palette. And then yung last na mac, matte ay ito. Also, the golds are different. This kind, ito yung gold nito. And ito yung gold nito. They are very different. One's a color tone gold and the other is a really warm gold. But all in all... This palette really did remind me of the Naked Palette. So, if you don't have the budget to purchase the Naked Palette, this is actually a nice alternative. Although, I do have to warn you, it's very powdery. You do have to work a bit harder for you guys to appreciate the shadows in here. They are pigmented. I'm going to give it that. Do not judge them by the price or by what it looks like. 
they are quite pigmented you can build the pigmentation you can use your fingers for intensity um, for the matte shades sila yung talagang super powdery yung kadip po ng brush mo ang dami ng powder so if you are concerned of fallouts and if you do not like powdery products you wouldn't like this but for me it's quite nice although I don't know if I'm going to use this again kasi I have palettes that I love more than this but you if but if you are a beginner this is really nice it has like four mattes ayan na yung mattes na kailangan mo they are neutral shades you can use it for every day and even for a night out so for the price maganda na siya wala na or reklamo yung mascara totally recommend ang ganda ganda ng lashes ko hindi siya nag smudge and I'm going to admit, mas love ko siya, mas love ko na siya kesa kay Maybelline Hyper Curl. Kasi si Hyper Curl, may times sa nagsasmudge. Pero ito, kahit sobrang nag-oil up ako kanina, kahit na um, lakad dito, lakad doon, hindi siya nag-budge. So, thumbs up for the mascara. Totally recommend. The lipsticks I tried, those are my favorite product from Sansan. Yun yung products na, okay, thumbs up talaga ako, yung lip crayons. I'm going to get more. I'm going to buy, sorry, may nag-text sa akin, so napatingin ako. So again, as I was saying, I'm going to get more of those shades because I love the formulation. It's really nice, really handy. I do love it a lot. So basically, ang hindi ko lang talaga nagustuhan is yung pang kilay. I'm still 50-50 about the CC cream. Um, pwede na siya, pero hindi siya bomb AF. So, yeah, the rest of the products are really good. Especially, yung I highly recommend ko sa inyo na kunin nyo or bilin nyo is first, yung lip crayons. Second is the mascara. Third is the concealer. Fourth is the powder. And fifth, Kung wala pa kayong eyeshadow palette and balak nyo mag-invest, ito, pwede na. Maganda na siya for its price. Although, yun nga, sabi ko nga kanina, may mga palettes ako na mas love-love ko kesa dito. But really, if you're an everyday type of girl, especially if you're on the go, ang ganda ng size nito. So, yeah. Um, that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And click that subscribe button down below to be a part of my family. Also, if you want to get updated for future notifications or my future uploads, just click the bell button beside the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!